Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Crystal, also known as Good Girl Gone Fashion, and welcome back to my channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, make sure you are subscribed, and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Good Girl Gone Fashion. I am in Northern Virginia. I am at Savers today. I am going to see what they have. Um, I have time, but then I don't have time. Like, I do want to eventually, like, hurry up and get back home. But um, I also wanted to stop here and see what they have. They have several thrift stores in this area, but I only think I'm going to Savers. So I'm going to check them out, see what they have. Um, and, of course, you know, I'll style these pieces up for you all and give y'all a haul. Also, I'm just coming from Upper Marlboro, Maryland, and I did do some thrifting at Second Avenue Thrift, so I'm not quite sure where that's going to be inserted, but I'll include those items in the haul as well. Excuse me if I seem like I'm talking crazy. I have a cough drop in my mouth. I um, kind of get over something a little bug I have, but I did take a test and I do not have COVID. So I um, just want to encourage you all to still be safe out there and, um, you know, social distance and wear your mask and things of that nature. But anywho, let's go in and see what we can find. I don't have anything in particular. Um, always jewelry, especially when I come to this location. I would like to find some maybe some sandals or something or some nice dresses. So let's see what they have.
Okay, so we are all done in savers. So as you can see, I found some good things. I didn't find much, but from what I found, I think they're good. I am only going to savers. I decided that in the store. And um, now I'm gonna rewind the footage back to Second Avenue Thrift Store. I believe um, that's the name of it. That's the thrift store I went to Friday. Today is Sunday, May the 22nd. So I went there on Friday the 20th to um, basically kind of just look around and see what they had. I was able to find some pieces, so I will go ahead and show those show that clip now from when I went thrifted in the store and if you're still watching make sure you get this video a thumbs up stick around for the try on and thrift haul portion and I will see you all soon So it is a whole nother day. So just to kind of regroup on the thrifting trip that we went on, the first store that I went into was Savers and um, I did have some luck in there. And then the store that I rewinded it back to was Second Avenue Thrift. Now that's kind of close to like Upper Marlboro, Maryland. I was up there visiting my best friend. So I definitely popped inside of a thrift store really quick to kind of see what they had. And luckily I did find some things. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the pieces that I found, style them up as you all like to see. And let me know what you think in the comments. I love hearing your feedback. It definitely um, keeps me going. So I definitely do appreciate that. So first I'm gonna start with accessories. And if I mix them with any clothing items then I will show that as well of course here on the split screen. But um, the only jewelry item that I found were these tiny hoops. So here they are right here. And I just like the colors in them. They have white, they have pink, they have blue, they have green, they have yellow. And I just thought these would be perfect for the summer. Of course, um, the small hoops trend is still going, so I just thought that these would be perfect to add for a pop of summer, especially if my hair is pulled back and I just have these on uh, with something that, you know, I got plenty of colors to match with them. So I just thought that these would be so cute for the summer. So I went ahead and grabbed those. Next item that I picked up was this little, um, I guess it's not croc. I can't even think of what you would call this. Would you call this croc? I'm not sure. But I loved how it had the top handle. I just loved that, um, how vintage that it looked. And let's open it on up. So it has this like nice satin finish in the inside, as you can see. It has a like an extra pocket back here um, with a little gold satin. And it also has nice detailed gold hardware on it. 
Look at this. And this bag was $4.99. $4.99 for some nice vintage. Look at this gold hardware here on this bag. And of course, I would just wear this um, with the top handle that it came with, um, just like this. And I actually paired it with this turtleneck that I have on. So um, I just wanted to give the outfit some texture. So I paired it with my patent, um, my patent leather Shein pants that I got and my gold Zara heels. So yeah, and if anything is available from these outfits, I'll go ahead and link those below as well in the description box. So yeah, I picked up this green turtleneck. I love turtlenecks. Um, I do still wear them in the summer. If, you know, of course, if they have the sleeves cut off and on days that it's not so hot, they're, um, they're still my jam like all year long. So I went ahead and paired this with the turtleneck, um, I love the color green, um, perfect for the summer. And I love this bag as well, perfect for like an evening bag or going out or just jazzing up a little outfit. Just so cute. And four ninety nine, dollars you can't beat that. Can't beat it. <laughs> so moving right along, the next accessory that I found, I know y'all saw it on the film, Y'all, I found a Oscar de la Renta belt. So it was definitely in the men's section and I had I had to snag it. I had to snag it. Here's here is how the back looks. It just says Oscar right there. So as you saw in my other Savers video. A while ago when I really first started my YouTube channel, which, which was just a couple of months ago. So if you haven't seen it, go back and look at that Savers video when I found the, no, it wasn't the Savers video, but I found it at the Goodwill. I found the Gucci belt. But um, it says genuine leather right here. And um, it says made in China. And it's just a nice, look at that. Look at that. It's just a nice black belt. And it says Oscar right here. It's just, it's the details for me. It is the details for me. I just love this. And I thought it would be so cute paired with <laughs> that sequin jacket that I found. Now, I haven't found sequin in so long. So to find a piece of sequin, like a nice, decent piece of sequin was good. Sometimes you see the same old stuff and you don't want that. So, well, I know I don't. I'm kind of like, I'm not over it. I will always be on the hunt for sequin, but I, I want like statement sequin. I don't want that basic looking sequin. So I just love this. When I saw that it was a size... 3x i just knew it would be the perfect oversized fit um i am having a live sale this video is going up friday june 3rd so on june 4th i will be having a live sale and this jacket will be a part of that and i just love this i just you could do so much with it and as you see me style it up in the video i paired it with that um i paired it with this oscar De La Renta belt and some faux leather shorts that I got from Target. And I just put my gold heels on with it because at that point you have a nighttime look. Do y'all see that? $4.49. That is crazy. That is crazy, but I just love this. Um... It does have a top clasp, but it's missing the piece on this side so it won't hook. So you can wear it open or you can belt it. If you find one, you can belt it kind of like how I belted this and you still can make it work. But it's just a beautiful piece. <laughs> so I'm so glad that I was able to pick this up. Um, and 
yeah i don't need another sequin piece maybe i'll do a video on my sequin collection so let me know if you want to see that but um or my vintage sequin collection so like i said i do not need another piece and i actually have a piece like this in white that is chef's kiss and i think that's it for the accessories so now i'm going to move into the um tees that i found I found this um, just like a white basic t-shirt. I, I just love that. I love the fact that it had the red writing. And this is from J. Crew. It was a size extra large. And I paired it um, with the um, some white linen shorts that I got from H&M that I believe I probably styled in the previous haul. But um, I just love that look together. I thought the blazer kind of like prepped it up a little bit. And then the sneaker kind of like kept it like dressed super casual and down. And um, I just loved how that paired together, like that all white with that kind of like pop of that blazer. And um, I did the same thing with this other shirt that I found from Zara. Um, it's a size extra large as well. And it just says young brand on it. And it just has these two girls here on the front. What does the bottom say? The bottom says um, the epitome of cool. So I just thought that was like a cute little throw on shirt. And um, it is Zara. And I styled it the same way I styled the other shirt. Kind of just um, with the blazer on, with the white linen shorts and the white sneakers. Just keeping it kind of like preppy but cute and simple. So I just love how I styled that. So, I love how I style those. So those were um, these two shirts that I picked up. And let's see. So um, I also found, lastly, I found this um, just little polka dot pajama set. I just thought it was so cute. I loved how it was cream with the black polka dots and the pink um piping just going all the way around it it's definitely a little big but that's okay because i do like to be comfy when i go to bed and um i got this is a size 3x and someone let me know this says pink k i don't know if that means like kmart or um i don't think it's victoria's secret but y'all would have to help me with that one i'm not sure but um, I definitely washed this one up and got it all nice and clean. It just feels so cozy. And um, yeah, I just went ahead and snagged it up. And that was the um, PJ set that I found. And that was everything that I found on this thrift trip. <laughs> I just tried to like mix and mingle these pieces together um, to style them up for you to see that um, you can find other items to wear with these pieces or the pieces that you thrift, you can use them to create an outfit as well. And um, that's just the fun part of thrifting. You're not paying that much money. Well, I hope not. <laughs> You're not paying that much money. And then um, you can create some looks with the pieces that you have found. So, yeah, I just love that. But um Thank you all for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I am finally feeling like I'm feeling like myself again. Um, so yes, um, we are over 500 subscribers and I could not thank y'all enough. We are well on our way to a thousand. And um, once I hit a thousand, I'm doing a nice giveaway that I'm excited about and Yes, um, new videos every Monday and Friday. We are glowing. We are growing. Make sure you subscribe. Drop a nice comment down below. And until my next video, toodles.